Welcome, welcome. Uh, today's video is going to be a tag video. I don't do it very often, uh, but I was tagged in this one and thought it sounded interesting. So today's video is the All About Book Titles book tag. I was very kindly tagged in this by Chaz from the Bookish Chaz channel, um, quite hard to say quickly, um, and really enjoyed his video, so I thought I would give it a crack. Um, there's several different questions and all of them related to the titles of books, as you would guess. So without further ado, let's jump right into the questions. So the first question is a book with a one word title. My book for this one would be Rapture by John Shirley. This is a bit of an unusual one for me because I don't usually like books that pick up after say a game or a tv series i sometimes feel there's a bit missing in the background substance of worlds if you do it that way around however this book was excellent this is kind of a prequel story to the bioshock games i adore the bioshock games they are great fun and have a really interesting story and setting so basically the idea of this is that Rapture um, was built by this um, very 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 rich man who wanted to build a utopia away from the government but it all comes to a very not sinister end but I guess sinister end um, and this is basically the story of the beginnings of that city and then um, its progress and progress downfall um, before the start of the first game where that's set. Um, really well written, really interesting and very true to the game. I recommend it if you're a fan of the game or actually if you just like reading about um, downfalls of um, society, I guess, because it's quite interesting read as a standalone as well. The next prompt is a book with the phrase in the title. I struggled with this one quite a lot. Um, however, I have chosen um, There But For The um, by Ali Smith. Um, I guess that's There Before The Grace of God. So this was a book that I picked up in Paris. It was one of those mystery books where you're not sure what you're buying. It's kind of wrapped in brown paper and they describe it. This sounded really interesting and not my usual kind of read, not sci-fi, not crime as I can tell. Essentially, it's a story about a dinner guest who goes upstairs during the dinner and locks themselves away in the room um, of their hosts and then just doesn't leave and then it's kind of the repercussions of that on the host of the village they're staying in and then it and then the country as it goes further and further afield not read it yet sounds interesting waiting until i get that kind of hankering for a um a palate cleanser i think between kind of sci-fi fantasy novels when i fancy a palate cleanser i'm going to come right to this book and then take it off my list but yes, that's my pick for a book with a phrase in the title. The next prompt is a book with a sentence in the title. For this one I've chosen The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. I do have the book somewhere, um, but I can't immediately find it, so I'll put a picture up. Uh, this was a very interesting book. I like Neil Gaiman's writing. And it was a very interesting book because it borders the line of kind of reality and not reality. I guess magic realism in a sense. Um, found it really intriguing, obviously very sad, um, but an excellent read, very very short, uh, very interesting about a man who's going back to um, his hometown for a funeral and discovering his kind of childhood friends and memories that he made in his childhood um, and at their house. Really really nice read, um, very very ethereal feeling. The next prompt is um, an, a book with an unusual word in the title. Now there could have been so many picks for this, um, being a sci-fi reader, however the one I chose was uh, Venomous Lump Sucker, um, Lump Supper being the unusual word. This is one of the most recent books that I've bought and is the winner of the Arthur C. Clarke Award this year. I've not read this yet, um, I actually randomly bought it because um, I knew it had been shortlisted but didn't know it was the winner. So basically it's a, a humorous novel or a satiric take on uh, environmentalist and uh, climate change and in this book this fish may have gone extinct and the two people investigating this or trying to find out if it has or not has basically prison sentences or whatever on the line. Um, apparently it's very good. Again, haven't read it yet, but we'll pick it up soon um, to get through it. I'm a little bit odd with humorous novels, so um, I'll have to let you know if it hits a mark or not with me. The next prompt is a book with a name in the title, and my pick for this would be Andy Weir's Hail Mary. Um, nice easy pick, really. I literally just saw this on the um, shelf and was like, oh, that'll do. <laughs> um, very enjoyable read um, about first contact and getting lost in space and finding new planets when we have potentially damaged our own. Um, 
has a really, really, really excellent first contact storyline in it. Rocky is a great, great character. Um, I enjoyed this a lot. I've enjoyed his other books as well. The Martian I've not read, I've only seen, but brilliant story. And I actually really enjoyed... Oh my god, what's the other one? And I actually also really enjoyed Artemis by Andy Weir. Obviously they're all quite similar in the way he kind of describes science, but he also makes it very accessible, so it's good. Um, but yeah, excellent story. I actually have this in hardback, but listen to it in audiobook, and I highly recommend you do the same. The audiobook version is fantastic. The next prompt is a book with a made-up word in the title. Yeah, for this one I've gone for Sazenac. Um, I'm hoping this is a made-up word. I've assumed it's a made-up word. But yes, this is volume one of the Pir Planet Pirates by Elizabeth, McCa Elizabeth McCaffrey. Anne McCaffrey and Elizabeth Moon, two authors that I adore. So in this book, Sassanac is the protagonist and she is, I think, basically kidnapped by raiders when she's quite young, manages to escape, um, and then joins the fleet, which I guess is kind of like the military, and then uh, rises up the ranks and then takes revenge on the pirates that um, took her when she was a child. Um, this is the first in a series, and I know a lot of people love this series. I haven't read this one, but I'm planning to at some point soon. The next one is a book with a pun in the title. I struggled with this one as well. It turns out I'm not very good with puns, um, but I have chosen Equal Rights by Terry Pratchett, um, a really, really fun book. One of the earlier Terry Pratchett novels. I think it's book number five or three, around there. And um, it's I think it's the first maybe of the Witches arc. Uh, very enjoyable, uh, basically about trying to get a young lady into the School of Wizardry. Um, but yeah, good fun. Again, a little of the early ones, so not the best work he did, but a very enjoyable read and a great introduction to the Witch's um, story arc. Next is a book that has a title that describes it well, and I have chosen Under the Dome by Stephen King, um, because that's what happens in the book. A village, or I guess actually a town, gets trapped under a invisible dome where they cannot um, pass through, and they cannot, and no one can pass into. But I believe water and air can still pass through it from memory. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Stephen King's writing. I enjoyed this book. His writing's too stark for me. A lot of kind of like not wonderful things happen in this book, and I detested the ending a lot. Um, but fantastic idea and uh, really enjoyed the premise of the book and the interactions of the society within the dome and how that worked out. Um, so I love hate this book. Um, but yeah, but I think the title in particular really describes what happens. Uh, so Under the Dome is my pick for this prompt. And I believe the final prompt is a book in a book where the title does not describe the book well or the story well. And I have chosen Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, um, because obviously that's nothing to do with actually what happens in this book. Um, the title is taken from a comic book that is within this story, <laughs> so it doesn't describe what happens in this book at all. This is obviously a um, dystopian futures, I guess? a future where um, a virus has gone through the population and a bunch of people have died uh, and it follows a play group um, who wander through the surviving remains of humanity um, and then all the interactions that they have. Uh, but yes, I think Station Eleven does not describe this or what happens in this at all um, because it's one of those things where the title's taken from something within the story. Um, really enjoyed this, thought it was fantastic. Really want to read um, more by her but haven't got around to it yet. I know there was a newer book um, by her out that the title has escaped me. But anyway, yes, enjoyed the writing style, um, would recommend as a read. So that's it, that was the uh, the tag video. Uh, thank you again so much, uh, Chaz from the bookish Chaz, for tagging me. I really, really appreciate it. The final prompt essentially is to tag a bookish channel of someone who you like the name of their channel. So I'm going to be tagging Chatty the Mad Chatter because I think that's a wonderful uh, channel name. Um, I will also be tagging Chris Mohan, although I don't think he does a lot of tag videos, but I would like to see his picks for this. And I would also like to tag Jared from The Fantasy Thinker, who again I don't think does many tag videos, but again I would love to see uh, what answers they had to this one. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you would put down for your answers to this tag and I will see you in the next video.